Ni hao. We rose before the sun and headed down to Ailey for our third week in a row. With Maccas, of course. This time we had Jake and Charles and their power boat. Jake's gonna get flying over there. First things first, was we had to go and grab our little ding from around the corner at the Coral Coast Marina. And it looked like a beautiful day for sailing. Now firstly, I want to let you know that we do love our little boat. However, on the, it is on the top of our list when we are replacing things, sadly. Just keep watching and you'll see why. Yeah, when we went to get the ass under the water, it started coming out. But I can't, I can't feel that up without it sinking. It's like I can't get far enough back. <laughs> We've got a good little dinghy. <laughs> He's a bit low, boys. Um, we still haven't bought that scoop yet. <laughs> the itinerary of the day was to get to South Mole Island, which is a small island just opposite Shute Harbour, which is around the corner from Ely Beach. Said to have a barbecue area and camping area, Jake and Charles thought it'd be a prime spot to take the power boat, and we were using this opportunity to sail Raven and borrow a tow if it all went south, and of course show the boys why sailing was superior. <laughs> Notice the camera angle changing a bit. This was the moment the anchor became extremely heavy. That's very cool. That's very cool. Why is that so stiff, brother bear? Because it's way over there. Someone's put a bit of lead on there for us. Oh, I might have like sucked into the dirt or something. Oh, like yep. Go. <laughs> Hold him there for you. Yeah, it should be like this. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Get a big pull if you can. Nice. Awesome. Watch your feet, Scott. Hold him there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's why we've got to take it off, eh? We're free! Like 20 minutes later. <laughs> so the boat started, third go, which is great. The boys are on their boat. Record. Meow. The anchor was a bit of a mish. The mud really sucked it down, so it was really hard. It took all four of us to get it out. They got there earlier. And now, I'm tiller stealing, steering with my foot.
that beach is then maybe it's one behind us. This is the sound of our lovely engine spluttering away. Supposedly this is normal and it's releasing CO2 and water. We managed to motor sail Raven to Daydream Island and grab a mooring, which was about, I don't know, five nautical miles. Then we set off to South Mole in a much more speedy fashion. It was a beautiful clear day today, but disaster struck and the trip was cut short due to the loss of the boys' car keys. We enjoyed the scenic surrounds, it was short lived, but we ended up sailing back, no motor, the whole way back to our anchorage in Cannonvale. So that was pretty awesome. Up next, we hit up Airly Beach for some great seafood, attack the yacht's bathroom and do some final checks before our big sail back to Townsville. See you next time.